going to film a quick tour of the garden over on this side. I've got some Walker's Low catmint here that I cut back. It gets really big, but halfway through the summer I cut it back. And then I have some different Nemesia planted that I just got on clearance. These are three salvia here. Um, they bloom early in the summer too, and they don't really rebloom. So I just cut them back. They're kind of tidy foliage. They're called back to the fuchsia. That's a sage leaf willow. Finally got some rain. Hopefully it'll be a little bit happier. The soil is really hard clay over here. So when we have drought like we have, it's not good for water loving plants like that one. Got some hookra here. This is Sun King Aurelia behind the bench. I'm going to be moving that bench forward a little bit. There's a limelight hydrangea back there. Some still be kind of back along the fence. That's all that glitters or all that glows. I don't recall which one. The viburnum. Some more still be in a lady fern. More still be. This is basically the only place where still be live in my garden when it, we have drought like this. Some hookerella up here, autumn frost hosta, some brunnera. The red plant there is um, Sedona sunset sedum, or sedum coleus, which is my favorite coleus. I just planted the or more orangey one, the one in the back, the more red one I planted last week. They'll both turn kind of red with purple hues as they get more sun. Another Brenner there, and that is a Raspberry slat Splash Longwort. Love the polka dots. This is a Little Lime Hydrangea. I've got some Plum Cascade Hookerella. I think this hosta is called Designer Jeans, and it clearly gets too much sun right there, but I don't have anywhere to move it for now, so there it will stay. I just planted these they're called Maggie Daly is still be. They were in way too much sun where they were. So I'm hoping they like this shade area better. I plan to take out all the grass in here. I just got to this little section for this year. Got my firelight hydrangeas. That's the other pollinator that all that glitters or glows by Burnham. I have some uh, caladium coming up there. It's red flash, and then a North Pole Arborvita. You can see the back of the dogwood. That's strawberry daiquiri dogwood. So we'll go back up through here. You can see the blue tarp. I'm getting ready to take that up and put down mulch now that the grass is all dead. Smothered. I've got three Brenner. I think these were called Alexander. Those are some of the clearance plants from Gurtens. They're looking beautiful. And another, I don't remember the name of that hookerella, that dark purple. Echinacea, I've got a salvia there that I moved over about two feet. These are going to start blooming here. There were clearance plants, that's Bidens. Uh, the Proven Winter's Bidens, what's it called? It's probably the most vigorous Bidens I've grown. But they were suffering because they were in their plant cans, so they should bounce back. I've got the two smaller uh, drops of Jupiter ornamental oregano there. And the bigger one is from last year. I planted it last year. Did get, again, some clearance plants. This is the time to pick them up and just add some color. All of these, those are all um, Super Cal. I don't know the variety name. It was just. A mix like in a six pack. I think the red ones are cinnamon and yeah I, don't, I just don't know. I'm not sure they keep coming out with new varieties but I just want to share this garden here. The echinacea are looking really pretty back there and so are the hydrangeas and then the millennium allium are in full bloom now. They're so pretty and they are just covered in bees and other pollinators, they're just going crazy. They love these blooms. Just constant activity, it's so cool. But these are herbaceous, unlike the allium bulbs that 
you plant and the foliage dies back. These have green foliage all year round and the seed heads, when the blooms are done, they turn brown, but they have these cool spherical seed heads that I just leave up in the winter and they kind of stick up above the snow until we get so much snow that they get weighed down. These are Nemesia also. They're Nemesia tropical, I think is the variety. I have some snapdragons. They're kind of lulling right now, but they're getting ready to flush out some new blooms. The bee balm back there is done. I'll probably cut that back soon. But we've got there's some North Pearl Arborvita again. Those are golden something barberry. I got them on super clearance for five bucks a few years ago. The grass, I want to say that's north wind. It's a panicum, a switchgrass. And I just planted this helenium. Um, kind of bloomed early because I had it in a plant can for a while. I overwintered it in the garage. Maybe it'll flush again, but I don't know. I think the seed heads are kind of cute too. I've got this coral geranium that was a clearance plant as well as the, what's the variety? Not Violet Ice. It's one of the proven winners, Superbenas. They're so vigorous. I love the Superbena. I've grown a lot of Verbena and those are worth. There's definitely a difference between these Verbena and the non-proven winners that I've grown. It's the white echinacea and the dogwood there. Um, I think we are going to get blooms off of this mum. It did kind of size up a little bit. There's another Verbena and some ageratum. Those are peach tea. Or they iced tea. One of the teas, hookerellas. And I did, let's see if I can get back in here. I have a uh, ligularia back there next to the mushroom. That thing, the poor thing, was really suffering earlier, but now that we've gotten a little bit of rain, it's much happier. Um, that is a stained glass, glass hosta that I just planted. And then there's a little uh, columbine back there. This is Blue Angel Hosta. I will be digging that up and moving it up into the front. You can see the leaves are supposed to be blue, but it gets way too much sun and it has outgrown its spot, so that will be moving. We've got the Conocloa here. And then this is White Queen Caladium, kind of peeking out from under. We've got more Autumn Frost Hosta in bloom. I do like Hosta bloom, so I leave them up till they get ratty looking, then I cut them. Um, this is, I think it's called Blue My Mind Evolvulus. Most of the flowers are closed right now. It was just in the shade, but really blue, blue flowers. This is Browalia and um, one of the Laguna Blue um, Lobelias. It's looking kind of, oh yeah, I need to trim that back so it can flush out fresh again. Here's a more recently planted Laguna, the same Lobelia, looks a little bit nicer. That one's been in the ground since the beginning of summer. We've got some Boykovo Geranium. The purple Hookra are forever purple, they're called. That's a Dicentra back there, and then the, the Hosta with the squiggly leaves is called Wee. It's a variety. Wee! And we've got one of the Frost Kiss, I think it's Frost Kiss Penny's Pink, um, Hellebore. Those are all new, that's where those Astilbe were, so I've replaced them with these. Got Winter Glow Virginia. This one is blooming. Well, the blooms are almost done now, but kind of cool looking. This is, I think it's Laguna Blue with Eye, or Blue with White. Lobelia, these were all on clearance, so I just popped them in. This is a lungwort called Trevi Fountain. Blooms really vibrant blue of early spring. That apple green hosta that's so pretty. It's called Fragrant Bouquet, and the flowers are really fragrant, especially in the evening. You can smell them. This is a pixie grass that I don't know what to do with it. I should probably give it away to somebody because I don't have a spot for it. It does not like this much shade. 
so I'm gonna plant this uh, cucurella instead. Here. And then this is the blue drinking gourd hosta. I can see it got a little bit damaged. This area is pretty dry because it's right by the tree roots. And these are three viburnum here. Um, Bailey's American Cranberry Viburnum. Super clearance. I think they were five or six bucks each a couple years ago. I have a group of three, but this one in the back just never quite bounced back this summer. So we'll see. I'm not going to do anything with it this year, but we'll see how it comes out of dormancy in the spring, I guess, next year. If I do take that out, I would probably replace it with an evergreen, like a U, upright U shrub, to create more of a screen in the winter time. I love, love all these blue accents in the garden. I'm gonna have to repeat that. It really glows. All that blue. Oh, the daylilies are done blooming for sure, and I absolutely hate daylily foliage. It is so ugly. So I think I'm going to take out this ground cover. This um, this is chocolate chip um, bugleweed or um, oh, what's it called? Bugleweed. Um, I think I'm going to move it. It's really easy to chunk up and move, and I need to plant some perennials in front of these things to hide the foliage. It's just nasty. Nice breeze today. This bench is just a nice little place to sit in the shade and enjoy the breeze. Bye now.